Right, we've had some fun using the voltage controlled oscillator of this CD4046 phase lock loop IC. Uh, let's just set that aside now, and now let's look at the phase comparator bit. And in fact, we just use the exclusive all there, it's nice and easy to see. So I suggest what we do is clear the decks. So we keep our input and output circuits, of course, we always do that. But what we need to do is now just take out all the wires we had before, make it much easier. And what we're going to do first is just generate two separate signals to come in. And we're just going to use some simple Schmidt trigger oscillators to do that. So it's very easy to do. Here's our CD4093. So we are going to use two gates from this. So we just have our capacitor goes into one input. And then we have a 9 volts on the other input. So I'll just quickly put that together for you. That's to 9 volts, no problem. And then we're going to choose a 100k resistor to go from output back to input. And it's recommending that we just go on to display A so we can see what is happening. So the output of this goes to display segment A, which is that one. Great. Now let's do the other oscillator. So what's going to happen is it's just the same, but we're going to put the variable resistor in so we can adjust the rate. So we can make it a bit more exciting. So what we're going to do now is put the 10 microfarad capacitor in again. And this is going to be on the other gate on the bottom side here. And go down to ground. And this is going to be a 1 meg resistor going from that capacitor input and going to the one end of the variable resistor and then we have the middle of the variable resistor the output so we're just using it as a variable resistor not a potentiometer and that's going to go to the output of this gate which is here and just like before we need to enable the gate make sure it's enabled so we just kind of put the spare input up to plus nine volts so that's the one we haven't connected to. We plug in there and pop it up to 9 volts. So they should work. Now we need to see what that one's doing. So they recommend let's put the segment D on there. So it's fine. So we just connect that to this gate. Segment D, A, B, C, D. So we could just check that out straight away. Let's make sure it's all working nicely. And so what's actually happening is that we got those going. I've uh, got the loudspeaker here. Maybe we don't need the loudspeaker right now. Okay, great. So we can just adjust the speed of one of these oscillators. Very slow, same speed, or faster. Very good. Right then. Now, we could look at those segments and just try and see which is faster and, and so on. Well, we've got a circuit to do that inside this phase lock loop IC. So let's just turn off the battery for a minute and connect up as suggested so what we're going to do is we're going to connect up to actually both the phase comparators which are in here the inputs are joined together one is connected via an nice little amplifier it's in pin 14 so you could actually connect it to a little radio circuit or something and the other input is just underneath it on pin 3 so it's quite convenient so there's top and bottom the same pins there so let's do that so we have the output of one oscillator is going to go to pin 14, 16, 15, 14. Then we have the output of the other oscillator, and that's going to go to pin 3, 1, 2, 3, just like that. And then we just need to look at the output. The output of, we're interested in this exclusive OR gate, the output is actually going to be on pin 2. And what we're going to do is connect pin 2 to segment G and see what's happening. So pin 2 is there, and it goes to segment G. So D, E, F, G, just like that. Now, we don't have to worry about inhibits or anything else. Uh, we're not using the rest of the chip. So let's just see what happens. So it's really just an exclusive OR gate. So what we're going to do is connect up, and you see some quite interesting stuff happening. What's happening is that... These middle segment, because it's coming out of an exclusive OR gate, is high 
when the two inputs are different and it's low when they are the same. So you need to experiment a bit with this. It's going to take a while. But if you get them about the same frequency, you'll see that there's a kind of time when this is mostly high and then as slowly this frequency drifts away after a while it'll be more like a square wave and then it'll be mostly off and so on. This is summarized in this diagram here where we have pulses from one of the generators up here pulses from the bottom generator down here and if they're not quite the same frequency then we have a sort of beating effect showing on our middle segment which is the output of our phase comparator so actually what's happening is the exclusive OR gate here is like a multiplier it's multiplying the two frequencies together and if you remember your trigonometry if you multiply two frequencies together what you get are sum and difference so what happens is say we've got 32 cycles on one frequency in a period of time and 34 cycles on the other the result from the exclusive OR gate will be 32 plus 64, which is 66 cycles, which are here. So actually it's a higher frequency. And there's a low frequency as well, which is the difference. 34 minus 32 is 2, and you get two beats happening. There you are. So what's happening is you just get this pattern happening. Now, if I just make a slightly big difference... Let's see... Bit fiddly, uh, this is there. Let's get it about right. So we actually see that this actually goes through a cycle where it's going through a sort of like a kind of like a cycle where it's mostly high, half and half, the mostly low, mostly high, half and half, mostly low, just like I'm showing here. There you are. Experiment.